is Farah by four or five metres. Jaylan is closing slightly. He planned, trained, given it everything. He felt that he had the victory within his grasp. It's a great opportunity for Farah, but he looks anxiously over his left shoulder and sees Jaylan of Ethiopia mounting the challenge. I said, uh oh, he's going to lose it. Jaylan gets there in the dying strides to deny Farah the medal that he so dearly cherished. Major disappointment for Mo Farah. He came away from it as though somebody had just snatched it away from him, punched him in the gut. He doesn't show emotion, very rarely. Tends to keep it sort of bottled up. He's a dedicated husband and father. He spends all of his time away from training with us and he puts us before himself. Anyone that meets Mo is immediately drawn to him. He's smiling, he's looking you right in the eye. He's someone that you know when you're talking with him that he makes you feel like you're the only person in the world. The first night was hard, but literally the day after, he was you know, back to normal and I think he was looking ahead to the next race. It was round and round and round in circles and my legs were aching. I got pins and needles. We were all up on our feet yelling at the TV. This time he didn't have one guy behind him, he had about four. Farah is the gun! Farah starts to draw away! It's gold this time for Mo Farah! You deserve this more than everyone. Good for you, Mo. Wow, Mo Farah, we stand and applaud you. That puts Mo up there as the greatest male distance runner that Britain's ever produced. Proud, but she takes it for granted a little bit now, and I think she expects him to win every race he's in. Rihanna, your daddy's just won a gold medal. I know. 